uh, your family also supported you so much like like being back here in Manila also kind of for a while like was it how overwhelming was it naman na you also won the title for them um well i mean i'm really happy uh, that I, I have to, I get to share this title with them because uh, they're really a big part on why why I could have won this title and um, you know I'm just I'm just happy to be home and spend time with my family before I go back for a really long time again. Um, Alex, uh, your Lolo was mentioned uh, kanina, so parang ano na lang, What do you think he feels about this win? Ngayon, uh, he's up there. Well, I'd like to think that he's proud of me because we've been talking about you know me winning at Grand Slam ever since I started. So, you know, it's just, just hopefully the first of many. And did you use that as an inspiration for this year? You started the year number nine, and then now you went. You had your first Australian Open. That was the title. I think that really was the biggest motivation for me going into the going into this Australian Open. Um, and you know, this win is really for me. It's dedicated to him. The biggest uh, takeaway from the Australian Open. Um, one of the biggest things I've learned in Australian Open is that anyone can do it. Uh, you know, anyone, if they work hard enough um, and they believe in themselves. And, you know, not everyone's going to have good days. Like, there's always going to be bad days. You can't have a good day every single day. So, you know, you need to learn to cope with that. Alex, how are you going to ensure that you're going to make an appearance in the following Grand Slam event? Um, well, I'm, I think right now I'm ranked number eight in... Uh, in IDF and I, and that's that's already enough to, to uh, get into all the other slams. Uh, but right now I think we need to worry about the visas. So yeah. <laughs> uh, how tough is the training at the academy? I mean, when you first came there from the Philippines, like was it an em enormous jump? Was it a challenge um, for you? It was. It was a pretty big jump to uh, start training there. Uh, uh, I think it was a lot more professional. I think and um, you know a lot more. Uh, well, not a lot more, but it's a bit more intense. Okay. Mm. You've been there how many months already? This is my second year. Second, second year. year. Okay. Very good. The last time uh, someone won the Australian Open was a Filipino, Francis Alcantara, I think 2009. Yes. So how do you feel that you know, you're the next person to do that and you're paving the way for more Filipinos to just be recognized in that? Well, I'm very proud to be a Filipina. Uh, very proud to represent my country, in, especially in a sport where not a lot of Filipinos are present. So I think now I want people to see that you know Philippines is, is can be has a lot of potential for you know high level tennis. How about plans for your national team? Do you have anything? Um, well, I was invited to the Junior Fed Cup this year for under 16, but uh, unfortunately, I don't think I will be joining because this year I'm prioritizing more of the women. Did you watch the pro matches? Yes, yeah. I watched. Uh, uh. I watched uh, two, Ra two or three of Rafa's matches and okay. the women's final. Right. So you go to Spain tomorrow? Yes. So you only spent what, one day here? Yeah. Yes. Uh, well, I think it's worth it to you know, spend the time with my family and share this big accomplishment with them. When do you think you'll be back here again? Maybe summer. Uh, I, I'm really not sure when. It depends on the tournament schedule. How do you balance your time na parang after a tournament you're back already sa academy? Like how do you take care of your body you know, to, to be able to handle the grind? Well, I mean, after so many years of doing it, you have to you need to get used to it. And, if, and I'm planning to do it to do this like a, a long time. So you know, you just need to you just need to deal with it. You know, you learn to deal with it. Okay. Okay. Thank, Thank you so much.